We've done coffee and smash. We've done coffee and crash. Now, it's time to do coffee and trash. I say based on nothing. I'm doing uh I'm doing Mario Maker today and I'm playing catch up on some friends levels. First off, I have to finish uh Grand Pere World. Now, I don't know if bacon is available today or not. I tried to get a hold of him, but uh he seemed kind of busy this week. But I need to finish uh, Bacon Bomb Super World. I've got some other levels that I know have been accumulating in the time between... Wait, was, was the last Mario stream was like uh, number 13? Between that and the previous time we streamed with Jack, which was the start of the, start of the year. Or it was the end of last year. So there's six months of levels that uh, I just haven't done. And I'm going to do some of those today. After Grand Prairie World. I'm on the last two uh, worlds of this. Hello, Darian. Perfect. Hey! First time I've done that. Alright, let's see which levels these are. The last the last world of this was already pretty uh, finale-esque. So, I don't know what exactly Grand Climb has to offer us. Or how much harder it's going to get. Sandy has uh, some new levels. I don't know how many of his I'm going to play, because I know he's working on a uh, super world of his own right now. That's still a ways off from being finished. Oh, I don't like this. There's a lot of things that can hurt me. So I might skimp on some of his. I also don't know how many of Cascadia's I want to do, because hers are suffering. Cascadia makes absurdly difficult Mario levels. Wow, that was, that was weird. Which is a little bizarre because she's not like a super elite mega pro Mario gamer or anything. She just spends a really long time getting these things update uploaded, these masochist, sa I guess masochistic and sadistic level creations. I also I also remember this level. This was a previously existing bacon level. We've played this one on stream before. I'll have to check everyone's uh, profiles, see if they've made levels. Hello, Sandy. So are you including a lot of your old levels in this world you're making as well, Sandy? I don't quite know how many of your levels I should uh, avoid to wait for the world to be finished. Who else is there? There's Chen, Ma uh, Chen Mango? Lately I keep forgetting the name of the the person who was always making levels with their sister. That was a common Mario Maker stream viewer. Mm, it's everybody's favorite blocks. Everybody loves the note blocks. No one hates them. Oh, hello. There's spikes. Well, there's lots of things. I shouldn't have rushed this. couple levels in the past few days. 
I wasn't planning on it, but I did, in fact, continue making a couple more levels as I had ideas after the school year ended. For a while, I was just making them as something to do on the bus, because I'd, I was as a bus aide for the past few months. I just didn't have anything else, much else to do on the, on the bus ride. God, I hate this part. I'm good at Mario, I swear. Maybe I should go in to get that. World uh, 6 ate all of my lives. Not that it matters, because, again, there's really no punishment for running out of lives and getting a game over. You start the level over, you lose your checkpoint, but... I mean, that's nothing. You don't start the world over or anything. I'm gonna guess... A, that I cannot take the clown car out of that little area, and if, even, even if I did, there's probably nothing out there. But, never know. Come on, get in there. You can do it, Luigi. Just squeeze in. Lube up. Oh, he's not going in. Ow! Really? Did that, did he have to be there? Ah! Uh, uh, uh! I would have liked a checkpoint before this perilous climb. I'm, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have assumed. Just wait, we got Pom Pom, and uh, now Nintendo is going to have female versions of every enemy. We're gonna have a Gamba, and a Kappa. gonna have a chain chomp, we're gonna have chomp chan. Maybe there's extra lives up here? No, there's just clouds. I'm sure there already is a chomp chan. You just have to look up uh, rule 34 for that. Tumblr. Deviantart. Lots of mushroom houses in the clouds. No shortage up here. <clears throat> A brisk waltz. Have I played this level? Does not yet look familiar. I didn't really use the warp blocks in any of my 3D world levels. In retrospect, it would have made sense to use one on my most recent level. Which is, uh, this is a little boss battle. With Meowser and, uh, Koopa Kart. I can't climb those. 
Because uh, the warp blocks are the only thing that you can lock besides doors. Which, I wish you could lock pipes. It'd be, it would be nice to... Like in Yoshi's Island, that had locked pipes. It'd be nice to ha lock something that goes to the sub-area. Instead of, instead of having to have a locked door that uh, then goes to a pipe that goes to the other area. There's little, little things that would improve this game. Do a little backflip. I don't know what that did. Did I want to do that? Uh, maybe I didn't. And he's got this little block here, so I can't pick it up and take it with me. No. What? Oh. Oh, that was weird. No, I needed... Ah! I can't just walk into it. I need to... How did I get in there the last time? Okay, so I gotta be moving. Or else the way he sits, his animation, prevents him from getting in there correctly. Maybe I can scratch it. I have to be jumping. What a bizarre interaction. Well, shit. That's fine. Ah, they get up! Get on up! Oh, I need to be faster. Because of the pee. That's fine. Darian, never played Mario game. Damn it! Get up there. Come on. Very unnecessary exclamation block. So what what part of this is a waltz exactly? Not even three times. Hello? Come on. There we go. from me, Bacon. You don't want me to get under there. Oh, I can... I'm, I'm dumb. Jack and I talked about doing a 3D world at some point because it is a uh, 3D co-op Mario game. We just that we never got around to it. It will it shall remain unplayed. But we are starting starting Mario, Mario Odyssey next weekend. Hello, Lars. So what if uh what if I jump down there before I get the cat suit? I think I may may have found a flaw in your well no, I can I can wall jump back up. Never mind. Your level is not flawed, bacon bomb. Oh, come on. You piece of shit. Come on. It's safe. Come on out. I only wants to stomp you. Can I wall jump as cat? Yeah, I can. Okay. I 
I got some uh, friends levels that I gotta catch up on today, and I don't know how quite how long that'll last. I didn't say viewer levels because I didn't want to necessarily commit to that. But uh, maybe if I finish all of these ones, we might have time. And ne next weekend, uh, I'm actually heading up to Seattle. So me and Jack will be able to do something together. We're planning on uh, Mario Maker. He's going to stream my Super World, because I have a lot of levels that have not yet been seen on this stream. I don't want to play my own levels. And uh, we're going to start Mario Odyssey, because he wanted to be present for the first stream of that. Still haven't figured out how uh, I want to look into uh, remote access programs so that uh, maybe I can let Jack, like, uh, do controller input on my computer remotely. I'm trying to figure out a way that we can continue our uh, Pokemon Gen 4 playthrough because we uh, dropped off right in the middle of that. And now that we're no longer in the same room, it is uh, significantly harder. Bacon. Bacon, your level is not Zelrog proof. Nice uh, 120 seconds, drinking coffee, talking to chat. How are you, chat? This is a level that had made... This was a... Uh, this is a Bacon Bomb, a longtime friend of the stream, made a Super World. His was the first one, besides mine, in our group of friends that had a completed Super World. So I did most of it last Mario Maker stream. I didn't get through all of it, so I want to finish that before I do anything else. Please make a hard castle level. Uh, I have one exceptionally hard Kaizo castle level that has not yet been completed. No one has completed it yet. And I'm going to tell you now, Jack isn't going to complete it. But it'll be funny to watch him try. Most of my more recent levels. I made the... When I made my Super World, I strived to make it more, uh, very accessible. A lot of much, much easier levels. But, uh, after I finished that, I made a few more non-Super World levels, and those ones I made harder. So, all, most of my more recent levels have been on the difficult side. Not Kaizo, just the one Kaizo. We can't, it's longer than thirty than sixty seconds, so we can't even clip this for bacon. I don't know if you knew this. Darian is uh, actually a mountain goat. Has a cheap Verizon plan. Hangs out on his phone up on Mount Rainier. There we go. It's so exceptionally good. With a stylus for a goat. It's very inspiring. Alright, new stuff, new area. I, I did that to myself, I realize. But I had I had to prove that it wasn't Zelrog proof. Oh. 
Well, now the issue is also getting Jack down here. Because he's in Seattle again. Currently living with his parents. Don't know how long it'll take before he's, uh, moved out on his own again. Oh, that was easy. I want to get that life. I get... Ah, oh, I was too close. I was trying to land on just the edge. I already liked it. I can't withdraw my like. How dare you put this flawed level online. Oh, just the mash. All well, the best Mario Party mini games. Just mash it, mash a. Grand aunt. Grand aunt. Where's the aunt? Am I going to meet her? We're just meeting more and more members of the grand family. Oh, hold on, is that... This wasn't the climb animation. I guess... So, they made a new Mario 2 climb animation from the side perspective. Because in Mario 1, you climb vines from the side. But in Mario 2, Mario USA, whatever, you, uh, climbed straight behind. Oh, there, there we go. I can, I can still get that. Interesting way to, uh, put stuff in the ground, I suppose. Hmm. Oh, wait, I can, uh, I'm Mario 2, I can... There we go. Oh, that, that was that was the level. A, a very dumb level idea I had. Purely for joke. Was, uh... Going from, uh... Mario to Super Mario to this form, Mario 2. And then to go even further beyond to Super Mario 3. Except you can't change styles to Super Mario 3, so I'd have to, I, I, I don't know, do like a big, the 4x, the 2x2 two two Mario would be Mario 3. It is a dumb anime joke, but I still think it would be funny for a level. Where is the aunt? I'm not following. Are these the aunts? The 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 little chestnut fellas? I mean, all Goombas are chestnut fellas. These are uh, Persimmons fellas. Richard Persimmons, Goombas. Okay, uh, this is interesting. Gonna ride some cannonballs. I hadn't thought to do this. With Mario 2. I kind of want to make a Mario 2 level now. Just riding cannonballs across gaps. Mario! I'm riding a fucking bullet across the ocean, Mario! where I need it to go. I'm assuming on the right side of the final line. This is me assuming. Because, again, I cannot see. That That's kind of a design flaw, my not being able to see. 
Is it for anything I need, or is it it's a, a key? Okay, I, I probably need that. Yeah, it'd be good if I could, uh, can I walk far enough to see? Okay, I can, never mind, it's fine. I can't see it while I'm standing under the switch, but... God damn it! Luigi, this is what happens when you waste all your time riding an egg across the ocean! That was too big a jump! I'm fine. I'm good. I got a free coin. I got a coin, Mario! And illusion ruined. Oh, this is something. I feel like maybe I remember this, or this is probably in someone else's level had this gimmick. Checkpoint. Alright, I'm good. Uh, hello? Ah! Oh. Need shroom. I don't like- I, I like the bullets better. They're better projectiles. I'm gonna use these. No! God damn it. Well, this isn't happening in time. Maybe I can at least get one hit. Maybe I can let him not three-stalk me. Nope! I don't even know which Koopaling this is. Huff and Puff is our McDonald's. I, I, I wouldn't know, I'm a Slytherin. I kid, I, I don't actually know which Harry Potter house I'm in because it, I don't have a magical hat to tell me. I could use an equally, uh, equally accurate online quiz, I'm sure. But that just makes me wonder why Hogwarts doesn't use an online quiz to determine such things, and why they must rely on a magical hat. I guess the hat's faster. Uh, it was an annoying boss. So it's successful, I guess. It's definitely difficult. I mean, I don't know that... Oh. Wait, what happened? Did he just... Die? Wait, I just had to survive. Okay. Was that intentional? I'm very confused how that happened. Oh, I didn't know this track was in the game. How do you get this? Is this the minigame music for uh, Mario 2? I guess that was the aunt. She was defeated by a random flower from the sky. This family is strange. Alright, do the, uh, I'm gonna guess, match game. One of each type. Yeah. Nope. I've never been been good any good at that. Grand Aunt wasn't even the final boss. That was level, like, three, and it was optional. 
Hello. Uh, hmm. Well. I don't like this. I'm gonna... Let's do that. That's better. Hope I didn't need him. Oh! <clears throat> I guess even if I hadn't killed him, I could just, uh... I could just stand on one of those mushrooms, wait for him to go on past. Uh, again, assuming I did not need to escort him. I'm hoping this wasn't an escort mission. Why fast snake blocks, though? The regular one's not bad enough. Okay, there we go. Pipe going into seemingly nowhere. Oh, he's back. And I can't kill him this time. Uh-oh! Well, how am I supposed to get up there? I guess I needed to do a running jump first, or a wall jump. There's a place kind of like that over in the over in the southernmost part of Washington, Darien, like uh, along the along the border, called uh, Stevenson. It's the this is the tiniest little one road town, and they've got a subway, but that's that's the only chain in the town. Damn it! Well, hmm. Maybe, maybe this is fine. This is fine. I'm good! I'm good! I'm fine. I made it. Cheese the hell out of that. I guess now I have to defeat him once again. Get down here. Which member of the Grand Family is this? Bust my ass coming up here, it's totally unsafe. Can you come down now, please? Thank you. I, I don't like this. I mean, at least I got a checkpoint, thank God. Come on. Did, what, there's another one? You don't live in Stevenson, Sandy. Unless you moved to Stevenson. Did you move? Damn it! I uh, was looking at chat for a second. And I'm gonna have to come up here to deal with this guy. I don't like coming up here because it's dangerous up here! Because that can happen! Down to f three lives.
I just gotta bum rush him. Well, you know what? I am safe up here. I think I'd rather be up here than down there. And he's going down there. You piece of shit. He heard me. Just do a little jump rope is all. That's, that's manageable. I can do that. There we go. Be bad if I jump down there, I think. Uh, okay. Bye. Was that the Red Baron? Was that the fight? Now, after two bosses, who was the final boss of World 7? Battle of Dakar. That sounds like the Star Wars. You know those cities in the country of Star Wars? Cool. It's a good way to lose a mushroom, just immediately. Get rid of him, get rid of you. I don't like, uh, like, I don't like having you guys alive, so I won't. And I'm dead. So did you, uh, did you grow up with any Mario games at all, Darian? Just out of curiosity. Or I guess, I think you've said you didn't have a lot of games in general growing up, right? Oh, I have to go up there. I, I thought it was optional because there was the big coin there. Car is a city in Senegal. Where, where's Senegal? Steve Seagal? Oh, the coin was down there. Okay. That, that's why it's risky to get the coin. I get the picture. I assume I need to hit that, yeah. Mario 3 vines are, like, extra risky. Because at least with Mario 1, you dead stop on the vines. I'm always afraid I'm gonna maintain some momentum that I don't want to maintain when jumping on a Mario 3 vine. Boy, the skies above Africa are uh, fraught with danger. I'll take it. Where am I going with this? Up here? Do I have to kill something? Lives. Uh, no. There's someone up there waiting for me. Except I cannot seem to get up to him. Oh, I think I remember this level. I think I played this before. There's like a key. One of these random enemies has a key I, I need to find. Or I gotta raid one of these airships to get the key. Which is, I guess, realistic in a war setting. 
I, do, I don't like having to do that. I'm not Solid Snake, I'm goddamn Luigi. There we go, that wasn't so bad. What is this? Go? Does this go somewhere? No, it's just a pipe. Oh, do I need to find a bunch of keys? I need to find, I need to find three keys. Man! All the way up, and we go all the way back down. Oh! I wish there was a way to let the player know that there was a key on each of the three airships. There's not. I'm not begrudging Bacon for that. Because the game doesn't have, like, uh, text boxes or anything. Because peop people might type fuck. And then a little, little four-year-old babby might hear fuck, and that'd be, that'd be bad. They, they don't want that to happen. Do I need a fourth key? Man! Let me in! Yeah, I can see it's the big fellows with the keys. I just, I wish there was a way to let the player know that before they make the climb all the way up here. So, uh, I'm gonna run out of time. Ah, uh, it didn't matter. All right, this time with the power of knowledge. Why a leaf, though? I guess it doesn't want to give me a fire flower, because that'd be, uh... That'd be too busted. Am I supposed to have to go to the top to get the thing? To get the... the armed... Koopa car? And then come ba all the way back down here. Oh, that'd be an that'd be an annoying level design. I mean, I, I don't have to, but I don't like you, spinies. You go away. You get out of here. Where'd that come from? I killed that guy. Was it still coming up from all that time ago? Somehow I've not gotten hit. There we go. All four keys. Oh good, my ride's not gone. Hear me hearties, it's me, Patchy the Pirate, here to wish you a happy, happy whatever the hell day it is. Guessing Darian is in a uh, Twitch channel with many SpongeBob emotes. Unless they're like uh, Franker Face or better Twitch TV or something. Boy, it, it would suck to fall off of there. I'd have to go all the way back down to the, the, the start of the start of the area. No. Oh, I lost my tail. I'll just do that. Is there anything special around here? No. Oh! Don't want to get shot! Oh, it's the SpongeBob speedrunner. That's right, that exists. So does he only does he only speedrun certain SpongeBob games? Or does he just go for like everything that's ever been released? Like wasn't there a wasn't there a very not so good Game Boy Advance Spongebob game. Uh, interesting world design. It's all rainbows. 
in space. All right, plane catch. Ten fastballs. Now we get heater. There's a certain point you can jump, and it's more or less safe for every type of ball. More or less. Or it's safe enough. It's safe enough to catch a fork ball, anyway. Grand Pere founds Space Paris. This is a very interesting narrative. A, v a very full life Grand Pere has. This is a this has become Sailor Moon. Uh oh. We've now entered the the Millennium Arc, the Millennium Kingdom Arc, wherein Grand Pere becomes a magical girl. Defeats death and founds Space Paris. I'm pretty sure that's how Sailor Moon ends. Come on, you got something for me? You got boomers. Okay. Uh oh! No, please! Oh, I'd, I'd be I'd be fucked if I if I stayed. Wait, no, I am fucked. I just fucked myself. Ah! I was gonna say, wow, I better go back and get another boomerang. I'm not gonna fi I'm not gonna fight these guys without one. But then I remembered. Oh wait, there's only one P switch. It doesn't spawn more. Give me my boomer. My boomer! Oh, I don't like these guys. Oh, there's one! He came out for me! So I guess I could still come over here. I wasn't, I wasn't doomed. Disappears. Silly me not knowing how 3D world blocks work. And I haven't got a checkpoint yet. Damn it. This is fine. This is fine. I'm good. So, I need five of these. Is there a hidden block here? No. Okay, so I gotta figure out how to get... No, that's a, that's a reset door. So there are five of these coins around somewhere. And I've only gotten two of them. Oh, I just go through this. I thought I I thought that was for boomerangs. No, oh, it was it was for me. There we go. And then there's just a reset door to get back. I get it. I, I see what's going on. Grand Theft Luigi.
I never know when it's gonna change colors! I'm trying to be careful, but I can't be careful. I gotta go fast. Alright, Koopa. Come here. Okay, Cooper. Nope! That was too soon. Is that, uh, that a Patrick mouth? That was- no, I shouldn't have done that. The timing on this. You just- you just have to memorize. And I lost my progress. So Bacon predicted the last two worlds would take me another hour. And that's looking to be a little bit under even. We're already at 50 minutes, and I still got most of this world to go. Oh, it's Pat Champ, I get it. Fire. why there's a need for an on switch there. Alright, caught up again. And now we resume the Koopa part. Be nice if there were at least coins along this track. So, you know, I can get some of my lives back that I'm inevitably going to lose because this is memorization. Nope. Do I need the cart? I probably need the cart. Well... For the sake of testing if it's Zelrog proof. That was too soon. It's alright, we got this. I do need the cart. I don't think this is happening without the cart. Almost. I almost made it that far. Which I could have made it with a double or a triple jump, I think. But uh, it's probably still easier to just use the cart. Weird timing required for this. Okay, good. That's fine! Got the checkpoint, don't care. Last life, that's fine. Checkpoint. Are you able to get more emotes on our channel? Uh, I could. I just, uh... I don't foresee anyone paying, like, a $10 subscription. Why did he- why didn't he activate that? So I never really bothered to go past the one. And I don't know what I would do for uh, other emotes. We use, uh, Better Twitch TV and Frank or Face Z. So we have... 
a selection of other emotes using those. You can get bit emotes too. Yeah, I haven't looked into those. I probably should. If you have any suggestions, feel free to uh, let me know on the on the Discord. There's a coin up there. Could make a Ganon dog. That's all right. I, I'm not. I'm not trying to lean too heavily into Ganon. It was mostly when uh, Ganon was more relevant when we streamed more Smash. And now that uh, Jax moved out, we don't really stream Smash anymore. It's also just useful as, as like an angry emote, the Ganon one. Oh, this is slow. This is very slow. Oh, it's floaty. It's this kind of... This kind of level. In space! Grand Peyre in the primordial days. Before gravity or solid ground. When the planet's core was molten, and also the outside of the planet. Not just the core, but the outside, too. Nah, I don't think Castlevania, Castlevania emotes would be very fitting on a channel that doesn't really play Castlevania. It, it, it's probably not good. What do we have? Uh, the Franker face emotes are the ones that are the our little sprite faces, me and Jack. Those are all on there. And uh, better Twitch TV allows animated emotes, so there are a couple on there. Not that many. I don't remember what all the. I don't remember what all the better Twitch TV ones we have are. I think Joshi is on better Twitch TV. Can I just, like, get him to blow up the wall? Do I need to fight him? Yeah. Dude, keep doing that. Come on. Blow me. Blow, 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 blow up the wall. Blow your fire. A little more. See, the trick... The trick to managing people is you gotta make them think it's their idea when they're doing what you want. That's that's the secret. Go on. One more. There we go. That's that's a good boy. Thank you. I get it. It's it, it's Joe Kerr. It, it, it's the Joker, but but it's Joe. That's uh not very funny, Peter. My Patrick Warburton is not the best. It's uh, a little bit a little based off uh, Venture Brothers. More than more than Family Guy. It's all the all, all the same voice. It's just the one one Patrick Warburton. The final boss was a spiky turt. Excuse me. Oh, like a turtle. Un hot voyage through space, Fez. Oh, I made the Wiggler mad. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. 
Maybe you don't want to make enemies in space. He doesn't give a shit. He can go through platforms and everything. Oh, that's right. I can't throw up in Mario 3. I have no gag reflex. Just gonna... Let's just not jump on Mr. Wiggler. Let's let him... Let's let him go on with his life. You're a spicy tart, love. It's odd because everything else is moving slowly, but Luigi is not. He's at full speed. Oh, hello! Turn into a mushroom, please. No? One coin. I can't even get it. I need ammo. Thank you. It was not actually that important. And Goombas in space. They're not a threat. What could a what could one Goomba do? All right, back to Space Castle with Frog Suit now swimming in space with rising lava. Oh, did I need to one cycle that? I'm dead. Rip. Those pink enemies, the the wigglers. These ones are meant to be caterpillars, not uh, not skulls and spines. Well, hope I didn't need that too badly. On the plus side, these pounders don't uh, crush you like the ones in Mario World did. Aww. I wasn't paying attention to my lives. I wonder why there's gravity outside the spaceship, but not inside. That That's a bizarre reversal of expectations. Maybe we're not in space yet. Maybe we're rising on the ship up to space. Damn it. I'm gonna take this with me. I'm gonna use it on one of the wigglers. There we go. Hey. Hit me, Mr. Magikoopa. I don't even know if I can jump on him. I know I can jump on red ground wigglers, but, uh... Legit sounds like Kingdom Hearts music. This is Super Mario Galaxy music. Good soundtrack, Mario Galaxy. Very orchestral. We did our first uh, playthrough of the two Galaxy games recently. Because we had uh, never played them before. Uh oh. Go down. Go on. Oh, they're, they're frogs. Okay, I thought they were going to shoot me. This is a very perilous area. Oh, that was the wrong momentum that I want. I didn't want to have that at all. Generally don't want to be above Hammer Bros, and this is no exception. I'm dead.
least I got a checkpoint. It was a... It was a pretty brutal section. I probably should have gone for it. I'm not gonna make it through here. I'm too slow without the frogs. And those ones don't shoot frogs, those are just bullet death. It's a good name for an indie game, bullet death. I'm too slow. Only had our Nathan emote. I, mean, I guess I could. We reference Metalocalypse occasionally on stream. More so now that we're doing Metopia, but outside of that, not really that often. I can't afford to stop. I gotta keep going. The lava's gonna get me. Or the bullets. The, the shoot bullets. Fuck! Down to one hit already, and no frog suit. Which is a redundant thing to say. If I'm down to one hit, then obviously I don't have a frog suit. Yeah, some more frogs would be nice. There's an indie game called Immortal Redneck that looks like a Doom clone. I'm sure there are many games, many indie games that are Doom clones. I give up. Could look through our uh, Discord emotes. See if there are any that would be good on uh, on the channel. you for one of the Wigglers again. That worked out okay last time. Okay, I can jump on him. See how he's got weird wiggly movement in space. Wiggler, go figure. Well, I can't input most of them, I imagine. Like, how many bit emotes do we have? We only have three slots for regular Twitch emotes. So it's very few. And again, I, I didn't bother with two of them because I didn't figure anyone would ever do a $10 or... What's the, the third tier is like $25? Who's, who does that? Okay. Nope! I forgot about those guys. That was all it took. Fortunately, there are frogs coming up. Give me the frogs. God damn it! Come back! Thank you! Damn! Oh, the momentum carries you after the frog suit, too! Bacon, I hate this! Don't you have that as one of your, like, uh, channel sound bites, Sandy? The my leg thing? Okay. Doing, doing good this time. I'm gonna jinx it by saying that. Go on. Don't get hit. 
Frog, uh, hammer bros. Ah, you bullet! Fuck! And now I'm hammer vulnerable again! <laughs> Made it. What else is there? Spinies? <gasps> I'm fine. I'm good. For now, if I can beat the lava. Oh, how much is there? How much is there? Ah! Welcome to Jack's world. Hey, I, I don't make my my world super world levels were easy and very and manageable. I wasn't mean with any of those except Trog, which I actually removed from the super world because it served my purpose. Served its purpose already. I didn't need to keep it in there. I replaced it with the snowball one, which is also kind of hard, but much more fair. I, I like I liked the snowball level. That one is calculated bullshit. Go down here. Yeah, let's just not go up top. Let's just stay down here. Sanctuary! Oh, the one with the, sh the shell. Yeah, the sacred shell. I remember that level. Good times. Against my better judgment, I will, I will give that level a heart. Have you ever done Resident Evil? I'm really not interested in- I'm less interested in Resident Evil than I am in Castlevania. <laughs> grand, grand, grand fills. Oh, it's low gravity, okay. with Super Mario Sunshine music, for some reason. Wait here, Yoshi. Elrog doesn't like backtracking games. I do, I, I do not, no. I also do not particularly like games that focus on atmosphere more than gameplay, which horror games tend to. As I understand, Resident Evil is mostly about walking around a mansion and finding things to go to other places, and lots of wandering and backtracking. Something I gotta kill? Did I miss something? Oh, I see. I got it. Oh, I need to I can't I can't use the bullets. He swallows bullets immediately. I didn't know. Oh no! Okay, that's fine. I got more more where that came from. That's odd that he swallows bullets immediately. I would have expected that to be something he could uh, shoot as ammo. Can't eat the big one. Can Yoshi wall jump? Aha! Oh, I lost him. 
I assume I wasn't supposed to bring Yoshi up here. I thought I thought I could cheese it, which I could. Come on. I don't know if there would be a point to it. Go ahead and take that. Thank you. Where am I going with this? I guess I'll go in here. <laughs> you can in Super Mario 64 DS. Who can? Uh, wh what are we talking about? Stupid fish. Oh, I don't I don't know what this is, but I don't like it. There's no easy way for me to get up there. I guess that's what he wants me to do. Kind of. This isn't really in a good place for it, though. This particular block. Yoshi wall jumping. Okay, that's right. There we go. Come on, Luigi. You can make it. Checkpoint. Okay, that's all I needed. Yoshi, we die together. You and me, buddy. Lost my fire flower, but that's not the end of the world. And a boss. Bacon loves his bosses. I am not hitting anything on him. I am just missing every attack. Okay, I'm getting a couple. Go down, BJ. There it goes. No? Oh, that was just one hit. So, uh, I don't know if I'm winning this. If I lose this Yoshi, I'm done, because now they don't spawn on the... on the one tile I have remaining. I'm gonna go up here. I like this- this place up here seems like a nice place to be. Come out here, BJ. Come on. Oh, no! You know what? Fine. Oh, I couldn't get out in time! It's a very demanding boss fight, that. It doesn't help that it keeps eating the coins instead of the fireballs I need. I kind of just have to stay back on this one door platform because it's the only safe one. Alright, 
Come on. Come down. Please kill yourself. Please don't take that out of context. Oh, no! Well, I now have no more Yoshis, and thus no more way to combat Bowser Jr. Except for this. This is now a very, a very technical boss battle! Fuck! He went on the one safe spot! Three more attempts. Probably four, given these coins are here. Maybe. I don't know if these will give me a hundred or not. Well, and there's, there's ones in here as well. I just got, I gotta get enough fireballs to lure them out. Oh, well, okay. I got another Yoshi. The, this part is still intact. Come on out. Come on down! Bob Barker's still hip with the kids, right? I'm not old for making those references. Get the fuck out of here. Can't wait for Sunshine Remastered. I, I didn't like Sunshine. Hot take, I know. Ah, oh, Yoshi, you keep it in your mouth. Don't swallow. First clear. No one else bothered. Alright, final, final castle. And a convenient toad house. The water graphics were ahead of its time. GameCube did have excellent uh, water graphics. Which, I mentioned this recently, it's kind of it's kind of funny how confident Sega was in the Dreamcast water graphics that they made uh, Chaos and Sonic Adventure all out of water and there was so much focus on water in the game when it just kind of looked eh. And then they ported it to the GameCube which was great liquid graphics, famously. Like a huge step up. And they didn't really bother updating it. They kind of just kept the same... Well... So much for that. I, gu I guess I live here now. Every time, I'm gonna go back. Send me back. It's all right, I got this. I'm, I'm gonna beat up Grand Whatever, I, I didn't even catch Grand Bowser? Grand Bowser. I've lost track of Grands. 
See, I gotta go fast to go through the, the icicles, and then I go flying into that. Perhaps I never truly needed to go fast at all. Perhaps that was all just propaganda. Do any of us really gotta go fast? Okay, we, go, we got a vertical section with the cape. That's a very short timer. I'm picking up stars, Mario! I'm in space! Oh, hello. Well, I'd like to get those things, but I don't have the time. Oh. So the final bo the final end of the campaign is the one level to not have a boss, the big finale. Okay. I'll, I'll take it. I guess that's it. I guess that's the end of Grand Pere World. The princess was in space the entire time at Alpha Centauri. So that was an, almost an hour and a half. Glad I didn't try to do that last time. Let's see what the others are up to. Uh... see friends at again. Courses I've played. Leaderboards? I got the Fire Mario shirt. Here it is, okay. Uh, friend levels? No. I guess I'll go, I'll just uh I could swear there was a there was a list of levels, courses. That's what I'm looking for. I go to courses and then I go to the little star for friends. Fungus frolic. So these are going to be a bunch of recent sandy levels. Or those two are probably ones that he made for his super world. It's all the Bacons. I have never played Tekken. Who is one, two, three, four? A boot to the head. Okay, so I, I beat I beat Ganon discovers fossil fuel apparently. So this is where we left off. World record trog, of course. I'm not really big into fighting games. Like the really the only reason that Smash took off for me is because it is also heavily platforming focused. That's a lot of the games I like are one genre mixed with 2D platformer. Like Maple Story, the 2D platforming MMO. Or Awesome Knots, the 2D platforming MOBA. We did a stream of Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and I, w I wasn't crazy about that. Wants me to take the turtle. Is that what's going on? I played Dragon Ball, a uh, Super Dragon Ball, which was a more traditional fighter attempt, an arcade fighter on the PS2. I 
I played Marvel vs. Capcom 3 on the PS3. It was alright, I wasn't crazy about it. The Bleach DS games. I enjoyed those. Despite them probably not being the most balanced things in the world, I had fun with them. Oh, I bet I needed that. That was a helmet I was supposed to wear. I think... No, I thought maybe that had a... This had like an extra move that the regular boot did not. No one lives. And uh, all of the, of course, all of the anime fighters that we played. We did, uh, one day, we just streamed a bunch of those in a row. We did the Inuyasha one, uh, Yu Yu Show on the PS2. <sighs> who is this? I don't actually know who 1, 2, 3, 4 is. Oh, how bad is Cascadia's level? 1.79%. Let's try it. She's got a, nin a ninja cap. Give me my boot. Great start. How about that, uh... How about that Marvel vs. Capcom Ultimate? People like that one. That was a great reputation game, right? People love it. So, uh, don't want to do a high jump there. That's bad. I gotta get the starting formula, that's all. Oh, and uh, me and Jack used to play a little bit of Soul Calibur 2. Although, the only reason I was interested in that was because Link was in it. I might look into the more recent Soul Calibur games because of the character creation. That looks fun. Fighting games of late seem to be decreasing their roster with each installment. Well, you know, the most balanced fighting game is one with only two characters. Or only one character. That, that's how you achieve the best balance. And balance is much more important than fun. I mean, some people want to ironically think this. Is Street Fighter 1, the original only had the one character, it was Ryu and Ken was the palette swap. Cascadia, I'd like you to know that I'm not having fun. That was kind of why I never bothered with any of the Dragon Ball Z games after Tenkaichi 3. Like, where do you go from there? You had... Almost everybody in it. And then after that, I found out that I heard, you know, the next Dragon Ball Z game. I don't remember which one it was. But it has like 30 characters, and I'm like, what? Why? Why would I buy, why would I pay for that if I have Tenkaichi 3? With 150 characters, or ho however many it was. Ah, oh, it wasn't so bad. It was annoying, but not nearly as bad as other Cascadia courses we have streamed. Hey, Trog, go get the world record.
Unleash your inner Jeff Goldblum. Oh, okay. You must uh, go faster. I'm perhaps unaware of this particular Jeff Goldblum reference. Uh oh. Uh oh! And then they had the gall to call a game Ultimate Tenkaichi. With whatever limited number of characters that had. I don't remember. And I'm still, to this day, I'm still disappointed that Popo was not in Tenkaichi 3. No, dude takes on two, two little Super Saiyan fellas. I, I want to fight his Popo. He's cool. I'm not going to make it in time now, but I might as well see the rest of the level at least. Even now, Tenkaichi is the one that everyone, you know, mods just because that has the foundation for all, all those characters. Game was just glorified rock, paper, scissors. Are you talking about Ultimate Tenkaichi? I have no idea what any of them were like after Tenkaichi 3. Is anyone still talking about Dragon Ball Z Kakarot? Did that come out? Is anyone playing it? It seems like every game now is just them redoing the entire the Dragon Ball Z story, but showing off how slick and new and updated the graphics are now. The Dragon Ball Z video games have become synonymous with the console war. Of just everything is about the best tech specs. Alright, so. If I do that a little faster, I should be fine. Oh! I just gotta... Not... Get caught in the in the downwards bullets is the main thing. And also not do that. Is it where everything is like uh like a quick time event? And you just gotta press the right uh, press the right button while a cutscene is going on? Cause that was one type of thing that happened in uh I think Budokai 3 did that, but that was only one kind of move, and it wasn't super common, so it was not the entire game, at least. That tends to be... that is a common thing in anime fighters in general, though. I, I did it again, I just ran into the spring. Is, uh... Everything has to be a cutscene, because it's gotta, it's gotta be presented like the way it is in the show. You gotta have the cutscene of what happened in the show. turned around I shouldn't have and then they just make the they make the show event a quick time event I remember oh we did uh we did I think the first ultimate ninja on the PS2 that was one of the anime fighters we did and I'm pretty sure that game did that the cutscene with input I'm, I'm getting distracted by, by anime fighters. I gotta focus on the level. I said this when we did the Yu Yu Hakusho game. Is that uh, I like, despite the game itself just kind of being eh, it had some cool ideas that I wish a, a better designed fighter would attempt. Namely... That uh, you could switch between being unarmed and using a weapon for some characters. 
And that was cool, having multiple movesets you could swap between. Oops! That decided it. I guess I live here for the last 10 seconds of my life. Memorization. I'm not going to be fast enough now, but... I guess Fighter Z really is like the first... Like, the first licensed anime fighting game to really get a significant scene in competitive. Because they really... Well, they gave it to the... Who are the devs? Are they the Blast Blue guys? And they really did try to make it a competitive game, which I get paid off, I guess. For real, 100% focus. Just got a bad start there. Arc system works. They're one of the very few Japanese devs to uh, not yet be repped in Smash Brothers. They're almost out. They're going to have to be doing Western devs soon. Damn it. I'm not getting that consistently. I'd even say I'm consistently not getting that. I guess I don't have the time now. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to jump out of the car at the end. There's no get off me button when you get caught in a combo. It's a fine balance with that. I agree that combos that are too long can kill a game, because then you're just sitting there in a combo for too long not doing anything. And that's not fun. If it's a universal mechanic, it can become very formulaic. Just uh, getting out of combos if it's too easy. And if it's not a universal mechanic, then you have the Smash situation where some characters are just better, better at it than others. Often significantly enough that you know it's, it's a very, it's a very sizable balancing difference. Wow. 
I did like the I did like the teleporting in Budokai. Insofar as, you know, it was a get off me button that also caused you couldn't spam it because it took up so much took up so much of your key. And it could, in turn, be countered back if they wanted to expend their key. Like, I understand why the Budokai games were not quite to the point of being competitive. They weren't, they didn't have quite that much depth. Specifically 3 was the, the deepest of them, but even then. I liked some of the ideas therein. All right, perfect run. Let's go. Fine, I got through it all. I got through it all right. Oh, you, Cascadia! Yeah, that's what fighting games are, are punishing the other player's mistakes. It's just a balance of how much punishment should there be for that, is the, is the question, the argument. And Castle Crashers, well, not a fighter, but was the extreme of tedium in PvP. Whereas, it wasn't terribly difficult to just combo people forever. So PvP fights were pretty much just decided by who got the first hit. With skilled players. Okay. Oh no! I, can't, I gotta... I still had to jump out. Well, now he's fine on spikes, because he, he, he beat the level. He's got the, the, the this end of level happies. Raining Fire and Ice by Dishydrin. Alright. Zero clears. Hmm. Reach the goal as Fire Mario. What is that? A semi-solid platform? That's a cool-looking platform type. Uh-oh! Okay, I'm fine. I'll save that one, in case I need it later. Oh, no! Hmm. Well. How am I gonna do this? I can't fireball through block. Okay, well that was very that was very luck based. I did get lucky. I also got I got again got very lucky there. It's fine, plenty of fire flowers. Hello. Not a fan of auto scrollers, who is? Good thing that vines aren't flammable. Hmm. 
This is annoying, but so far not unmanageable, especially since there seems to be fire flowers all over the place. All over the gaff. Are these still Lakitu's up here dropping these? Is this like RNG? I can't tell if these are Lakitu's or if these are intentionally placed. Uh-oh. No! Oh, I was so close! There's not a checkpoint, is there? Oh, no, that's right. You can't use checkpoints in levels with conditions. Well, I can go through with a little more abandon, since I know there are fire flowers everywhere. This is a particularly annoying spot. This RNG thing of having to rely on the Lakitu's to blow up the bomb. No, zero, zero to death combos are generally not looked upon kindly. I'm fine, I'm a, I got this. Come on, give me a fireball! Light my fire! There it goes. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm good. More fire flowers up ahead. I don't like that it's an auto-scroller. Because now this is going to be slow every time I die. rain fire on my enemies with reckless abandon. I think they're landing in more or less the same place as last time. And I didn't see any Lakitu's when we got to the top of the screen. So I think they're just parachutes. I need up there. Let me up, please. No! Oh, no. That's it. That's death. Sorry, Diz. I'm not I'm not willing to do that without checkpoints. I could if I had more, if, with enough time, but I, I don't want to spend an hour on one level. Use the force to get through tight platforming. Hmm. I'll give it a shot. One in 600 something. I might not clear this one either. There's no guarantees today. Is that, is that what it means to use the force? Uh, hmm. Well, that is tight platforming. Oh, almost. I wonder if there's checkpoints. I'm gonna guess no, considering the clear rate. Oh. I did so well the first time. The second time. Whatever time that was.
Oh. Welcome to the Castlevania portion. Because because it's difficult. Is Castlevania notoriously difficult? Japes. Also, there was no checkpoint. I question whether the force has anything to do with this. I don't recall the scene in Star War where Luke jumped through a, jumps through a bunch of saws and uh, snapper plants using the force. Wait a sec for Mr. Plant to go away. Ah! I'm gonna keep going a little bit longer. I'm not giving up just yet. I don't. Still don't think I'm gonna complete this because I'm sure there's way more past that point. But. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly consistent with the start at least. Down a little bit, give the other plant number two time. I see what's going on. Let's see a Castlevania Kaizo mod. That probably exists, right? Make every jump pixel perfect. Mario skills. I can do this level. Now getting less consistent with the first part of the level. Also getting a little bit hungry. It's sushi for lunch.
When it gets to repetitive levels like these, the commentary just becomes, Oh, I did this. Oh, I did that. Which is another reason I tend not to spend hours on the same level, if I can help it. Which I can help it, in this case. I could, I could not play this level. But I'm still entertaining some small amount of hope. That I could be completionist number two. Maybe there's a checkpoint after this section. See, so I don't gotta worry about lives outside the super world. Here I get the checkpoint and I got it forever. They want you to run on to, across the platform? No, because I need to ride it down to give the second flower enough time to flutter and go away. Aww. Oh. If I went straight across, then the second one would drop immediately. That's a tricky one, that jump right there. It's gonna be a, a difficult section to do. I don't know how many more attempts I've got at it. Sushi at Fred Meyer, and while I was there, I, I was tempted. I got six half gallons of ice cream because they had a sale, but you had to get at least six to get the good price. And they had a lot of wacky flavors, and I like me some wacky flavors. I shouldn't I shouldn't be eating ice cream. I'm trying to lose weight, but they had one with a llama on it. And, and they, they had, uh, they had peppermint. They had peanut butter and jelly ice cream. Peanut butter and jelly! I think I've ever seen you get legitimately heated at anything. The most I get, I get irritated is when I think Jack is being, like, unfairly judgmental of me. Which he tends to get when he's watching me play a game. He gets madder watching me play a game than he gets... than he gets mad playing a game himself. Because, you know, Mario looks so easy. And it's so obvious what to do until you get the controller in your hands. And you realize, oh wait, this is, this is hard. Or whatever other game. I got, I got a little little bit of a spare tire I'd like to get rid of. I think I've seen some of that manifest during Majora. The... Yeah, somewhat infinitely, infamously, I mean, as infamous as we could ever get. The finale of the vanilla Majora. We butted, we butted heads a little bit. Over uh, dying to Majora 
minus Fierce Deity. I also tend to get annoyed whenever Jack uses the word assume. Since every human decision is an assumption. But he doesn't tend to think that way. Oh! Ah! Uh, ah! That was the closest we got. It's so close. I just want to get through that pipe and see if there's a checkpoint. If I get through there and there's not... That's going to be the end of it. I'm not going to try any further than that. Ah! Oh! It's so close. I can see it. And that pipe, that, uh, that P-door. And I'm not going to be happy if I get through that, or if I get down there, and I don't get down there in time for the P. So you always want to be in time for P. now. Jack's probably be getting home from uh, home from work sometime soon. I might have to call this soon just so I can get to other people's levels. I try I tried. I gave it the I gave it the old college try. I'm gonna see what others we have. There's Chen Mango. It was Chen Mango. I don't know why I thought it was someone else. Ringo's Revenge, a subpar marine? John, Paul, George, why have you all turned into meanies? I'm afraid I have not tried using the for the force. I'm not actually a Jedi. If anything, I'm probably more like a like a Gungan. That's just mean, Mango. Why why'd you do that? Is this level is this just gonna be one of those levels just full of those? Hello. I'll take you. Except maybe I won't. Go. Oh, well, that was short and simple. I'll give it a like, I guess. I probably shouldn't with those invisible blocks scattered around. That's not a good design choice, but I'll give it to it anyway. Ghosty special surprise. Clear out all them creeping booze. 
Come on down, real fake blocks! Reach the goal after defeating 14 boos. With a star? Or with a hammer? Going down into boo sewers. The booers. Now, can I hammer booze? I guess that's my only weapon. It's either the hammer or else uh, I'd throw blocks at them. I don't think blocks are gonna work. That's the thing! I don't wanna fight that! Get out of here! Get out of here. Go on. I wish I could. I wish I could kill it with blocks. That worked in Mario World. Hmm. Come here, Boo. Come on up. Nice, tasty, tasty Luigi. Get fucked. Oh, there's a door there. Hmm. So, I needed to go that way. There we go. I guess I go in the door. Hello, here's some booze. It's like, uh, it's like Mario 64, like the, the kill all the booze mission. Get all the booze in the child's playroom, I guess. Get that, because why not? Nothing bad can happen because of that. Only good things come from hitting switches. No, oh, I don't need that. Nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Great. Why is there a pit there? What was I supposed? Oh, it changed the treadmill direction. Well. Yeah, these boos are less uh, less repetitive than the Mario 64 boos. He doesn't have a hitbox above him. Out of here. Come and get some. Nice and tasty Luigi. You'd think Luigi did this for a living or something. Uh-oh. Well, that could that could ruin the level if I did that by accident. It's a good thing there was a second one there, but even so, that could be a potential problem. All right, so now now I know not to walk off into the abyss. And now that pipe is inaccessible. I guess I could, uh, in a real emergency, maybe I'd have enough blocks to stack and get up there. There we go, mansion clear and livable once again. Only thing you now have to put up with is the room full of guns actively shooting you at all hours of the day. But if you're cool with that... Man, it would suck to fall in this pit now. That'd be, that'd be unfortunate. Uh, 
keeping an eye out for any, I guess, bacon levels that aren't in the super world. You know what they say! What comes up must go down. What about vines, Mario? They only go up. Wow, hmm. Nice use of arrows. Very considerate. And they're hammers now. I don't like that. No, sir. And the sun is here. Hello, Mr. Sun. Ah, they have parachutes. Uh, Shadow was a one-off. We were not expecting to 100% Shadow. We got through one route, and that, that was plenty. Ah, uh, why did I jump into that? Luigi, what are you doing? You got a lot of extra altitude. Ooh. Go away, Mr. Sun. Turn into Kenshiro for a second there. I mean, the 10 coin is a nice gesture, I suppose. Those, those balls at the start of the level, every time. Stay in the middle. I don't know why I thought I could I could jump. <sighs> Can I survive the cannons? That's what it all comes down to every time. I just gotta survive the dumb cannons! Nope. Ah. Am I going to beat any of Diz's levels? This one had a, a, at least somewhat decent clear rate. Hey! I did it, Mario! Fuck. It's just one Goomba. Well, te technically it was six Goombas, but... That is tight. Did it. Boy, Diz doesn't like his checkpoints. That's okay. That's fine. We didn't need a checkpoint. That's the end of the level. Cheese? It, it's an auto scroll. How could you cheese that? Alright, let's go for boomerang. Stan Lee seems to be uh, Dishydron's trog. See those enemies used a whole lot. Oh, 
there's a condition. He loves his conditions. Wait a minute. So I don't... Oh, I don't want to hit that. Because then I can't get up here. Well, can I at least die? There we go. Did I not do something like I was supposed to? I'm confused. So I can't take damage. Oh! Okay, that's fine. We're good. Wait a second. This is this is a tricky section. This is a confusing section. So that's gonna change it to blue and then to red. But I got I gotta be quick about that. I guess. If I did a, a twirl jump, I could have made it up there. Let me try that one more time. I think I get it. This part's just a trap. I don't know what he was expecting there. I don't know, maybe he doesn't... Maybe there's an oversight? There we go. I don't know if that was intended either, but it works. suit deep dive. Diz has been busy. Does he have a... I should have checked if Diz had a super world, actually. Not that I would hope that... Now, oh, there was one level of his earlier. I hope the Fire Flower world level wouldn't be in his super world. Did not see if this had a condition. It'd be nice to have a level, a Diz level without a condition. I am now minus frog. Come on, Mr. Shell, you can do it. Come on, help me. There we go. Is this frog? And there's a wiggler. God damn it! No, I need that! Come back! Is this frog? Well, now I don't want to go fast, because... I don't think I'm going to clear this. Ah! I tried. Let's see if Diz has a super world. Diz does not have a super world. Larry's Castle of Swings. Alright, I'll give it a shot.
Probably should have done like a, a count of how many levels I had to go through. Did I did I accidentally whack? Got a got a twirl there. I keep forgetting. Keep thinking I can make it. Nice early checkpoint. Wish we had the Waluigi emote. Technically, you're not supposed to use, like, copyrighted characters for emotes. So it really just comes down to which, like... Twitch mod you get approving your emotes. Like lots of channels, even I think Vinny's uses some uh, some like characters. Oh no! Okay, I'm fine. I made it. It's really in inconsistent. Where'd the shell go? Oh, there it goes. It's coming. No! That's okay. I got a checkpoint. We're good. We got this. We even got a coin up here. Some extra lives. It kind of looked like the Pringles man. That platform. Damn it! Oh, I thought I could be cheeky. I'm sure I could. I gotta move less, though. Oh, come on. You'll get me eventually. Keep trying! One of these days... Oh, you almost got me! Oh, there's more. Not much more. Just a little more. Pop-Tarts. Let's see. Koopa Hops. Strawberry Oasis. Rainbow Run. And that looks like it. Because after that is a bunch of Grand Parries. And uh, Sandy's more recent levels. Which are probably Super World related. So I'll do the last couple. Try Koopa Hop. Simple platforming for a good time. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. It's just three Goombas. What could they do? Can't slide Mario one. Watch the things happen. Well, because of these Koopas being here, this can't really be a multiplayer level. One of those was a mushroom I probably should have got. Mm. 
All right, gonna catch them while they're rising. I don't really have a way of knowing how I need to catch them from here, because I can't see where I'm jumping to ultimately, but... And was that enough? Okay. I think it's important to be able to see what's ahead when designing platforming levels. Maybe I'll bake some chicken or something. Alright, moving on. And there we go. Oh, I'll buy that for a dollar. Is that is that a big gay owl me? On the right? I couldn't tell. Strawberry Oasis. Don't get sucked into Goomba infestation. Oh no! Axial map, one of the Achievement Hunter guys. I don't know that I especially like his levels. I haven't played, really, much any of them, but... I just keep an eye on the YouTubers I watch. I don't know if I have Joel followed on Mario Maker. I don't. I don't think I have his levels on here. Not that. I don't know if I necessarily want Joel's levels. He has something of a reputation. Oh, there was a condition. God damn it, Diz. No, this was Sandy. I can't even blame Diz for his stupid conditions this time. Wow, that sounded really mean out of context. Why, why did I even need that fire flower if I'm just gonna get a frog immediately? Maybe the fire flower's better. Maybe I don't need the frog. Fuck the frog. I believe that was a cut song from Thumbelina. It'd marry the mole and fuck the frog. So maybe I did want the frog. This is a lot of Goombas. I'm starting to see the power of Goombas. I can't clear the level now anyway, but I might as well see the rest of it. That was all it was. I think that is uh, that pipe is meant to be a barrier where it stops the camera from scrolling. Sadly, it does not have enough room for an entire screen on the right side, so it does not exactly function as intended. Works on this side. Alright, give me your frog. Here we go. Can't take damage, not one time. Damn it! That Goomba was gunning down there. He wanted to he wanted to run me off. Hello, Seesaw guy. We're uh, almost done for the day. I've been uh, playing some friends levels. And I'm down to the last two. Next time we do Mario Makers next weekend, and that will be Jack playing my levels. And then after that, I'll probably... Probably do streams of uh, viewer levels again. Maybe. That's kind of a risk, because then if no one shows up, I don't have any levels to play. So in retrospect, I guess I should have... Uh, I should have made this a uh, combination of friends and viewers levels. I didn't know how long uh, Grand Perry World was going to take me. It ended up taking an hour and a half just to finish the last of it. Alright, the final level of the night. Where are you? Was a uh, Sandy level? Yeah, Rainbow Run. Super... Oh. Well, no, that's the Super World level. Thank you for telling me, Sandy. Is that the description for all the Super World levels? The beginning of an adventure. Watch out for fireballs. Okay. Well, I guess that was the final level then. If, uh, because I'm, I'm avoiding Sandy's Super World levels. 
I will wait until he finishes his Super World, and then I will, uh, I'll play that. But, uh, no, th uh, two and a half hours. Of substantial stream. Uh, next solo stream I'm planning is probably gonna be Donkey Kong Randomizers. I'm gonna do that either tomorrow or maybe the day after on Thursday. But, uh, that, sh that should be fun. Difficult. It looks like a difficult randomizer. But it should be fun. I'm up for difficulty. So, uh, look forward to that. Might also start, uh, the next Crash game soonish. I've been working on PS2 emulation, try to get that working. We'll see. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.